Um. Wow. The lighting. This might be the best lit looking area. What's that? Um. Is this. Is this important? What's up, heroes? I'm Horizon Hero, and welcome back to Undertale. Okay, so basically the last episode, we defeated Popper's- Ah, sorry if you heard something. But, that's it, got a pulled. Um, in the last episode, we beat Popper's, but I remember we went through his room and all of that, and we stopped at the date. So let's go and, I guess, date him. This is gonna be weird. Okay. You guys ready? So, uh, if you see everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yeah. Okay, dating start. Whoa. What? Here we are, on our date. Okay. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. Oh, okay. I stagged an official dating rulebook for the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press C on your keyboard for dating hunt. What the? Crime egg. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Cuban, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes? Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. What? Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Um... I... I... Uh... <laughs> no, I actually know, but... I'll hit... I'll say yes to see if we get something interesting. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, you're dating power. Date power? Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you bested me yet. Tension. What? What kind of graph is that? What is it? Is that a heart monitor? What heart does that? I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten that dating, and I never will. I thought it's because maybe he never had a date, so he never beat the one. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. It's so weird. Behold. Oh, I see. I see you, Papyrus. I see you. I love it. It's great. You a b-baller. A genuine compliment. Wow. However, this is the easiest dating sim. It's not like Honey Pop. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. Did our date power go lower? This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. Oh, okay. Okay, what's the secret? What's the secret, guys? Secrets it is. Okay, his shirt looks a little suspect. The shirt did originally say cool, but I approved it. Expert tip all clothing articles can be approved this way. He improved it. 
huh? That music though, that music's nice. Pants. There's no secret to my legs. It's hard work and perseverance. Shoes. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. What about a sock? This left sock looks a little suspect. Okay. Hat then. I'm going with hat. My hat? My hat. My hat! Yeah! Is this hat? Oh! I was right! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. Oh. Just for you. Open it! Yeah! Yes, it's spaghetti, isn't it? Is it, is it spaghetti? Why do I think it's spaghetti? I feel like it might be spaghetti. Of course. No idea. Of course. No, I will, of course. Spaghetti. I was right! <laughs> spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? Yes, I said I said that. But also wrong. What? This ain't Play-Doh pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti. Finally aged in oaken cast. It cooked by me, Master Chef Puppets. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this could go any further. Eat it. What a passionate expression. You must re- Oh, I'm sorry for not reading that, by the way, guys. I'm sorry. Um, you must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Did I say extension? Maybe even more than I do. Ugh! Ugh! No! Oh! <laughs> I broke the gate. I mean, the, the gauge. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. Oh, God. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I don't love you? Um, boy. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Uh, oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Ha! <laughs> Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. That on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'm actually happy it turned out this way. I'm happy. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for this. <laughs> A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these dark, these trying times. I'll keep being, cool, being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. You know what's weird, though? He says that he didn't love me, but why do you take someone that you don't love into your room? And that's that's just so weird. That's so suspect. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because uh oh, because I don't have even I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as weird as me. Well, no, that's not true. But <laughs> wow, but I'll help you settle down. Yeah. Okay, that was so much reading. Oh god, Popper, just leave! Leave! Oh, and if you ever need to reach me. Phone number! Okay. You can call him now. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. I hope there's actually a girl, uh, a girl character that we actually can talk and it isn't platonic. It, I wanna talk to his bro. Can we talk to him? If there's any way to talk to him, guys, in that room, please let me know in the comment section. Okay, we already know what to do. That was crazy, but we got his phone number. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's just... Papyrus. Ring, ring. Snowden. Home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? Oh, okay. Nothing's gonna happen, because we beat Papyrus. Cool. Okay, guys. This is where we progress. Y'all hear that sound? This is a little weird. Hey, you know what? Before I move to the next place, does this look 
D does this place remind you of the door we found in that mountain? Remember that? Oh! Oh, we saved. Yo, are you sneaking out too? to see her too? See who? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents anything. Haha, <laughs> okay. This is Echo Flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Ooh. This is an Echo Flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. I want to say something to it. I want to say something. Let's talk to the bro. What? You haven't seen a guy with two jobs before? Unfortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna grill at least. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, it insists that I'll borrow myself away from my work. It's over here. I know a shortcut. Oh, okay. Oh, that shortcut, huh? Hey, everybody. Oh, everyone. Greetings, San. Ah, I put too much. I do. I put too much like girth in that. I don't know if that's the right word. I, I put too much in that. Greetings, Sands. Hi, Sandsy. Hey, Sands. Were you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I had that breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of bro. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're killing me. Brunch. I. 10 out of 10 there. Here, get comfy. Wow! Whoopee cushion. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes we just put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries? Br Ooh, I'll take a. Hmm. Fries or a burger? Uh, Take some, take some fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Oh wait. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Real me. We'll have a double order fries. Oh, so that's the kitchen. Cool. So, what do you think of my brother? Cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. What? That's kind of gross. Ooh, fries, that looks good. Here comes the grub. Oh, here comes the grub. Sorry. Want some ketchup? Yeah. Bon appetit. Wow. You tip the ketchup. The cat falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Oops. Yeah, forget about it. You have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Pepper tries real hard. Like how he tries to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard. And begged her to let him be in. Oh, it's a woman! Okay, I didn't know that. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior drink. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Huh! Oh yeah, I wanted to ask- Okay, the music stopped. That's interesting. Huh? Huh? Have you ever heard of a talkie phone? <gasps> oh! He's talking about Flowey! Oh! Is this getting serious or is it gonna be comic relief? Is I'm gonna be excited for nothing? Yes. So you know all about the Echo Flower. Oh. I looked about Flowey. They're all over the barge. Say something to them. And they repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, my person told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. What? Advice. Encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone has been using the 
Echo Flower to play a trick on him. Someone's talking through Flowey. Who's talking through Flowey? Someone's. Oh, okay. 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 This is interesting. Okay, hold on one second. I gotta blow my nose. This is interesting, though. Okay, guys. I am back. Okay, okay. So, let me read this again. Someone must be using an Echo Flower to play a trick on him. Ah, uh, that's an interesting story. Keep an eye out. Okay. Thanks. Um. I. I am very interested now. This was interesting. Well, that was a I can't believe I let you move me away from it for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat bro. The view from the bill. It's just what? I don't have that kind of money. No. Just kidding. Really, man, put it on my tab. Oh, sorry, my voice cracked. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Guys, that was very interesting. Someone is using Flowey. A Flowey might be an Echo Flower, right? And if it's an Echo Flower, then who's talking on the other end? I think it's Asgore. I again, I have I have zero. All I know is that Toriel said something about don't let him take your soul, and I don't I don't know. I'm really interested. I'm really interested, and I don't know. I don't know. Now, obviously, he said this is his job, so his job might be kind of like border patrolling. I don't know. Okay, so I can't go over there. So it's only over here. What's that? This is a box. You can put an item in, or you can take an item out. Why would you though? You can't use items when you're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Wow. Yeah, this is a box. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is one thing I want to see. Uh, item. Stage. I never looked at it. Ha! Huh. Zero attack damage. Oh, is that going to push me off? Echo flower. The sound of the water is being echoed, right? Is that why it keeps repeating? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about it too much. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Oh. Behind the water? How do you get behind the water? Oh, wait, 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 this? Oh! Oh! <gasps> what is this? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yeah, take it. You got the old tutu. Wait, what the heck? Um, I don't, what is it? <laughs> Part of their protected piece of armor. Oh, nice! Nice! Ten defense! Even though getting an old tutu isn't, like, something to brag about, I've had that. Um. Wow! The lighting. This might be the best lit-looking area. What's that? <laughs> Is this, is this important? <sighs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding the human I called you about earlier. Uh, did I fight them? Yes, I, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well... I tried very hard on Dunn, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But I'm 
dying. You don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. That was scary! What? Don't jump down! 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 That was insane. Yo, did you see the way that she was staring at you? Oh, so is a girl. That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guy. Wow, that was sad. A feeling of dread hangs over you. But you stay determined. Uh, we're gonna keep going. I'm too interested and invested right now. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they was... Or, you know what? We may not want to. Actually, you know what? No, no, we're gonna break it here. That... This was an interesting episode. Oh my god, we learned so much. And interesting things happen. I don't know what all of them mean. But I think I have a good idea. I think Flowey is... An intercom. It's a, it's an echo of someone else talking to him, and I'm wondering, um, is it really Asgore's or someone else? Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next episode of Undertale, and don't forget to be here. Bye, guys. And this mixtape is pretty fire. <laughs>